Alright guys, so you're going to be watching the unboxing video for the yellow golden back Neo Caradina species. I'm always a little hesitant when it comes to sticking my hand in a box full of insulation, not knowing whether it has fiberglass or not. As you can see on the package, the shipper was nice enough to add two extra shrimp. Okay, you can see these guys were really active. In a lot of the shots, they weren't the greatest looking, but they colored right up after they had been in the aquarium a few days. Alright guys, so my plan is I will use the new uh, dip and pour. I'll drip acclimate them into this, and then add them to the tank. It'll be good. One nice thing is that the seller did a great job on the description. He talked that the shrimp were sold to him as golden backs and he stated that 80% of them will probably have the golden back stripe and 20% of them won't. And that's about correct. So I was glad that I was prepared for that. So this is the dripper bucket that I use, one gallon water jug that I poke a hole in the bottom, put a regulator, occasionally drip so just got tissue tied on there. Airline tubing that goes to the bucket. So we're doing the drip method. The gallon that I first started off with was matching TDS from the shrimp that they came from. So it, that tank's loaded with tannin, so I started the dripper bucket off with that and I've been slowly uh, keep topping it off with the tea, uh, tank water from the 29 where they're going. The 29 where they're going is about double in TDS from what the water that they're used to being in. So uh, they should be fine. It is going to be in the 600s. Here's a shot of the tank where they're going. Need to do some cleaning. I'll uh, scrape the glass and try and catch some footage of the shrimp when they're in there. So on the shot, I'm really unsure what the debris that was in the bottom of the bag was. I believe it was whatever sand substrate he was using. Uh, it, it almost looks like eggs, but they are not eggs, they would be way smaller than this. So I am doing the drip method on the bucket. There was one female that I will jump over and show you a picture of. Uh, in the dripper she was going crazy, going belly up. Her legs were not doing so good, so I was pretty sure she was gone or so I scooped her straight into the tank and now she's running around feeding on the sponge filters, so uh, I, I thought she was right off, so hopefully she'll do well, but it looks like I got two large female and the rest are that juvenile stage, so it'll be tough to tell, but it'll be interesting to see what comes up. So here is the female shrimp that was going belly up during the drip acclimation process. I hadn't actually started it. Um, I thought she was not going to make it. So I dropped her in the tank just to give her a chance. And you can see she came right to life. Alright guys, so this is the little pile of golden backs. There's a dozen of them total. I will be introducing them to my 29 gallon guppy tank. I 
I dump out most of the water and then I let the shrimp swim their way out on their own. Um, do a few extra sloshes of the water just to make sure that nobody was straggling behind. But everybody was out and also just trying to rinse off the extra duckweed that I don't want to pull out of this tank. Good job. Good job. 